Um, I felt really weird about posting about Cameron on social media. Um, because it felt really um, emotional and uh, private and intimate and social media is uh, the opposite of that and I just couldn't quite like reconcile the two or make them fit so I um, yeah, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, but I just got back from therapy and I've decided that I think right now is um, the only way to get through it right now is to, like, I think we all need to just, if we want to, um, be uh, expressive and connective. Um, so, uh, I wrote something that I'm going to try to read. The last 72 hours have felt like two weeks, and I've spent them trying to make my thoughts and feelings into words that might communicate anything about what I'm feeling. I've been unsuccessful. Think I've been unsuccessful. Thinking about trying to summarize something where there are no adequate words in the English language has made me ill and dizzy, and I've been mostly quiet or expressing through crying. I've never stuttered or been unable to speak before these last few days. My system is still in shock, and my brain is still foggy and full of holes. But I'm going to try to write. to Victor and Libby and Maya. <laughs> you are all I can think about. <sighs> My heart aches for you. I'm broken for you. I have close to nothing left, which tells me some small percentage about how you must be feeling. I'm so sorry. And I will never have enough words for the pain I feel and the love and the space in my heart that I hold for you. Cameron was one of my favorite people alive in the world. Though I know that's not unique to me. Cameron was magic, an earth angel. Over the last six years, since he was only 14, Cameron talked me down from countless ledges Talk me through eating disorders, helped me out of a dark relationship and through endless breakdowns. He would whisper the dance moves to me on live television when I didn't know what I was doing or hold my hand quietly to communicate wordlessly when we both knew we were thinking the same thing. I can't count on my hands the number of times we ruined something because we couldn't stop making each other laugh. Everyone keeps talking about how talented he was, and he was undoubtedly the most talented person most of us will ever know. But what was special about Cameron was who he was in the small moments when maybe no one was looking. The moments in between the big ones when he didn't have to be good or kind. Cameron was always good and kind. He was selfless and generous. He was magnanimous. And arguably a true philanthropist at only 20. Beloved by anyone who had ever been lucky enough to experience his light and indescribable energy. Cameron was the ultimate example of a human being. Goodbye, my dear, dear friend and brother. 
you leave behind a colossal wake, a profound chasm that can never be filled, but you also leave millions and millions of deeply impacted, hope-filled and love-filled human beings who are who they are because of you and how you spent your brief 20 years on this earth. What a gift you were. You turned the world on its head. We can all only hope to be half of the human that you were and you deserve so much more time. Goodbye to an earth angel. I will spend the rest of my life missing and loving you and all the better for knowing you.